Hi, I want to introduce you to my little friend here. For your suture lab, you're going to be required to get a stuffed animal. It does not have to be a dog. But in the case of my friend here, I picked something that I could apply several lessons to. So as you can see, he's got bandages on three of his limbs. That way, if somebody needed help demonstrating via Teams, I could practice that with you guys. I also have an IV catheter placed. So I may not be practicing the actual placement of the IV catheter, but the taping is sometimes a little difficult for people to grasp. So in this case, they could practice taping in an IV catheter. I've also made it so that his mouth would open so that I could actually practice intubation if I needed to and hooking up the different uh, monitoring devices. So as you can see, the capnograph is right here and I have e EKG clips on him too. So getting back to the purpose of why you actually got this little guy was so that you could practice your suture patterns and submit them to me. So in this case, I have cruciates, I have simple interrupteds, I have the Chinese finger trap, which I know we talk about using them for nasogastric tubes, but here's another case where you could actually attach a three-way stopcock to it and use it to drain fluid from the chest of a patient. I have the continuous, simple continuous, the Ford interlocking, the two mattress sutures, and of course, the purse string suture. So if you're going to pick a stuffed animal that you want to be able to use for several lessons, he's a perfectly good example for it. But if you just need something for your suture lab, you can pick any stuffed animal. But as you can see for his sutures on dark fur, I used light thread. And for the lighter areas, I used darker thread. So you want to be able to make sure that I can see the suture patterns wherever you place them. Now you can use regular suture or in this case I actually used embossing thread. And that was just for ease to make sure that I could show what the patterns were actually supposed to look like in the patient. Okay, so I just wanted to show him to you and show him what your uh, suture patterns were supposed to look like. Everybody say goodbye.